Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Love Taffy. Today is a video for my mamas out there. I'm gonna be talking about baby led weaning, why we chose to do it, our experience doing it, and why it has been awesome for us, and why, we'll, why we will, blah, blah, blah. I cannot say this, why we will definitely be doing it with our next kids. So keep on watching if you are interested. Quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert in baby led weaning or anything like that. I'm just a mom and we chose to do this with our daughter and it has worked out great for us. My older sister has a daughter who is seven months older than my daughter and she chose baby led weaning and, and having her example and being able to watch her do this and ask her questions was definitely something that encouraged me to do it ourselves. Anyways, I just want to pass that information on to you, especially if you don't have that example in your life because it was so beneficial to us. So if you're just looking for more information on baby led weaning, this will definitely help you out. And you can hear our experience and why we really enjoy doing baby led weaning. So a little bit about baby led weaning. The main idea is that you feed your child solid food as opposed to pureed food. And through this, they learn that eating is chewing and then swallowing as opposed to just swallowing. Because when they're an infant and nursing or drinking from a bottle, they're just swallowing to get their nutrition. And naturally, giving them purees, it's the same sort of method of learning to eat. So baby led weaning is giving them soft foods and allowing them to explore and learn how to chew to eat. Naturally, your first thought is choking and I was so scared of this for so long. I would definitely recommend learning how to do the baby Heimlich remover and educating yourself really well on what to do in case your baby does choke. And educate yourself on the different foods that are more high risk for choking like grapes, hot dogs, apple, things like that. So anyways, my daughter nursed until six months and also it's recommended to not give your baby solid foods until after six months because their digestive system is still developing and it can mess with the bacteria in their gut if you give them food prior to that. So unless your pediatrician recommends something else, I'd definitely recommend waiting till at least six months. We introduced solid food to our daughter a little after six months, about six and a half months, and we did some research about the best foods to give your baby first. We went with Mama Natural's advice and gave her avocado because that's quite similar to breast milk. It's very creamy and fatty and rich. So I'll insert the video of her daughter eating avocado for the first time. She was so excited to eat it. So I was really scared of her choking in the beginning. And if you look into it, you'll read that they learn to find out where their gag reflex is and they will often be gagging when they're eating. And it's not like they're choking. It's just that they're realizing where their gag reflex is. And that's actually a really important part of baby led weaning because they need to learn that food needs to be chewed before it goes down there. But this really made me nervous and what we did to kind of make ourselves feel more comfortable was we gave her really mushy stuff and small pieces of it. Many baby led weaning resources recommend giving your child like steamed sticks of things like super mushy carrots or squash or things like that. But my daughter, she is still like this. She shoves everything in her mouth so that became more of a concern. So. Even to this day, we can't give her a lot of food at once because she'll just shove it in her mouth and that's just our daughter. So it's technically recommended to space out the different foods that you give them and to be very cautious with allergens as well and be thoughtful about when you're introducing them to different allergens. You can read more on that. I don't know everything about that. My daughter hasn't experienced any allergic reactions to anything, but it is good, especially when they're so little, to space out the things that you give them to see how they react to them. For instance, we didn't give our daughter any sort of dairy or cheese till after a year. She was also very sensitive to meat or fish, so it took us a while to introduce that after she had some negative reactions to that early because I think it was just really hard for her little tummy to digest. But the first foods that we did were avocado, we did squash, I think butternut squash, because that is a little bit easier than sweet potato. What else did we do? We did banana, and I think those were the first few. We didn't go crazy in the beginning. We just slowly introduced new things. Beans, beans worked really well as well because they are mushy. Also fruit, it was so convenient though. Yeah, it was messy, but it was so fun to see her explore food. That's another benefit of baby led weaning is that oftentimes when you're giving them purees, you're just feeding them and shoving it down their throat until it's all done. But doing baby lid weaning, we just give her food until she is not interested in it anymore and seems full. And we still do that now because we want her to learn when she is not hungry anymore. I'm not sure if it's been absolutely proven, but there is some studies that have shown that it's beneficial to your child to learn when they're full because they're less likely to overeat. And also, I just love that she's getting whole real food that we're eating as a family 
and avocado and beans and sweet potato and squash and carrots and zucchini and fruit. Those things are so healthy and I just love knowing that she is eating those things because they're good for her. Also another tip and another little saying that I've heard is that food before one is just for fun and that their main nutrition is still coming from breast milk or formula. So. Don't stress out if they don't take a lot of interest in food, especially when they're young. It definitely took my daughter many months before she actually was consuming a good amount of food. So enjoy it when they're not needing a ton of food because after a while, it's kind of a big hassle to be feeding them meals all the time. So enjoy it when they're just content picking at an avocado and totally satisfied and not begging for more and more and more food like my daughter does now. So learning their hunger signals is a benefit. Another benefit is that they learn a lot feeling the food and exploring it. It helps with their motor skills because they practice bringing it to their mouth and grabbing onto it. So. I really think that improved my daughter's motor skills just playing with food. Also, there is benefit to just not force feeding it to them. I think just even as adults, it's really empowering to know we have a choice to pick something up and eat it. And I think it kind of, I think it really fosters that sense of exploration with food in them. And they kind of develop a personal desire to try new food and eat food when it's something that they can explore themselves as opposed to something that's just being shoved into their mouth. So I think that really helped her foster an interest in food. We never had any choking incidences, which I'm super grateful for, but we are super careful. And that's also really important is that you watch your kid and pay attention. Even now, I'm always with her when she's eating. I don't really let her just eat a meal by herself because you never know when they're young, especially. and things do happen, so it's definitely important to be attentive to them when they're eating. It's not something to take lightly, but it's also not something to be scared of. You know, you kind of have to just go with the flow like everything else in parenthood and trust that everything will be okay and inform yourself and just, you know, they gotta eat and they gotta learn to chew it at some point. But the benefits have been so great. We can go out anywhere and my daughter will eat pretty much anything. My daughter loves food. She will try absolutely anything, and even when she doesn't like it, sometimes she'll just shake her head, but she'll still swallow it and just let us know she didn't like it that much. And I feel like it's just such an easy transition because when they're eating your food, you don't have to think about preparing all this extra food or making purees or anything like that. I think it's more affordable as well to not be buying those things. There are some great Facebook support groups out there with information on baby led weaning and meal ideas and that sort of thing. But our main thing is we were so simple. I talked about this in my Minimalism with Kids video, but we are so simple in the food that we give our daughter. We don't even give her fancy meals. Oftentimes we'll give her just the ingredients of things that we eat just to keep it simple for her. Some of my daughter's favorite foods today, she loves meat and sausages. She absolutely loves blueberries and loves any fruit that's really good or in season. She really loves tomatoes, she loves beans, she loves cucumber. I give her like the inside of the cucumber. I don't really give her the crunchy part. It has been a great experience. I see no reason why we wouldn't do it with our next child. And if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to chat with you. I'm gonna link a video by Mama Natural about baby lid weaning and five foods she recommends starting with. I think if you're like me, the more information you take in, the more equipped you'll feel to go ahead and start feeding your child. Again, luckily it starts off super gradual when they're young. It's not like one day they need to eat a ton of food. It starts off slow. We didn't even feed my daughter every day in a row after we gave her food. It kind of was every other day, every couple days and then it just built up from there. Don't stress about it. You have time to learn and grow with your child. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. I want to do a video on baby led weaning food hacks because there have been a few little tricks that I've picked up along the way that have really helped us in this journey of giving our daughter whole food. So I'm going to share those tricks in my next video on baby led weaning. Don't forget to subscribe. I love making videos for my fellow moms out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!